All right, hey everyone. In this video, we're gonna go over how you can use Clay, OpenAI, and uh, some creativity to create an email sequence where all four of the emails have either very sophisticated AI generated content in them, or they're using scraped data to make it seem extremely personal and one-to-one -one for uh, your recipients of your message. And so the first company that we'll be doing this for is a SaaS company that helps people post automatically on LinkedIn. And then as you can see, we have two other examples that I'll be making videos on as well. And so first I'm gonna read the copywriting of what we'll be able to do. And then I'm gonna show you how it works inside of Clay so that, and I'm gonna do it very detailed so that you can see everything happening. So really quick, and I know you can probably read this yourself, but just so that I'm on the same page with everyone, I'm gonna read it. Saw one of your recent LinkedIn posts about, and then we're gonna generate it with AI. Seems like the last time you posted was number of days though. before that though. If you're trying to build your brand on LinkedIn, have you considered using a scheduling tool? Our scheduling tool can help you write the posts and all this stuff, let me know and I can send over access, right? So we'll be AI generating a lot about this first line. Email two, we're gonna say, hey, you know, as a bump, I just saw your post about, and then we'll uh, do another uh, AI generated post. It reminded me to follow up and see if you saw this. So we're creating this serendipity um, of why we're following up with them. Email three, so th these emails are gonna be threaded together. I know I didn't write subject lines, but then email three is gonna be, hey, uh, I keep seeing your content online, so I made some more post ideas considering what your company does and how you promote it. And then we'll use AI to generate um, custom post ideas for them. And then we'll say, this is just one example of what our AI can generate for you. And you haven't even get it, given it your insights yet. And then email four, this is where we'll have a little bit more of scraped data. Hey, first name, just like how Facebook pages killed their organic reach. Uh, it can be expected that LinkedIn will do the same one day. I saw your LinkedIn company page has this many followers and you had about this many followers. Uh, as you're building your following, are you maximizing the organic reach? We help companies like Lemless and Outreach, blah, 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 all that, right? And so we have each email here is personalized to, and you know, maybe the people viewing this video would disagree, but personalized in a way that I think most people would not be able to sniff out that this is an automated campaign. And so now we're going to jump into the clay table of how exactly we're going to build these, uh, these things. So here we are in the clay table. And so all of this is just data that we're just going to start off with. Uh, we'll be just importing into our table. The very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to verify all of the emails. If the emails are verified, then we will um, move them to our master email column. If they're not verified, then we'll use find work email to kind of boost the list to find even more. And then we'll go into the master email column over here. And then we're just cleaning the company names right here. Super, super easy. Um, you know, nothing crazy over here. The first way that this whole uh, flow is going to work is we need to find their recent LinkedIn post. Now I have set this so that the only way that we're looking for somebody's LinkedIn post is if master email column is full, because if I don't have an email to reach out to, there's no way, there's no reason that I should even be scraping their posts. Cause I'm not even going to be reaching out to them. So I used a conditional formula where I put in that, you know, this basically means that only run if master email column has content in it. And you'll see like I was faking one down here. And so it ran on this one, even though it's not an email. And so we put the post date filter for 45 days ago because I didn't want it to be something crazy. Uh, and we entered their person LinkedIn URL. I don't need any of the keywords for this one. And so then we let it rip. For this campaign to work, I need three posts to exist for the person. The reason being is because if I want to create the serendipity for this one, I don't want to rerun this clay table and get new posts and then w work with that workflow. So what I'm actually doing is when I say saw one of your recent LinkedIn posts, this is actually about their second most recent LinkedIn post. And then when we talk about the, la the number of days that they posted before that, that is from their second LinkedIn post to their third LinkedIn post, which again, all of this is 100% managed inside of clay. So what we did is I set up this column where I used AI and I was literally saying, you know, is number of posts three or greater? True or false? Because that's all I need to be able to know. If it's true, then the rest of the workflow is going to continue to work. So the way I got these post dates is I just went into the post and I went to post date. Uh, I know this is one here, but this is post two because zero is actually one. And I just mapped this uh, date here. I hit add as column and then I went 
and I map to this one and I hit it as column and then we have it here. Then for number of days, very simply, I just said, how many days apart are these days? Post date, uh, post two date and post three date. Super, super easy. We can spot check. This is five days. This is six, this is six days. This is two days. Awesome. So this formula is working correctly as well. So now again, I have achieved the second part right here. The, you know, posted was number of days before that, right? Now we're going to generate this message. And so the way I'm generating this message is I'm using just one message when I converse with ChatGPT and I'm saying, using the input, complete my sentence by summarizing what the LinkedIn post is about. This is my input. And then we're giving it the LinkedIn post, keep the output under eight words and use specific keywords from the input, complete the output with my prefix. This is my prefix. Saw one of your LinkedIn posts about blah, blah, blah. And then for the conditional run on the conditional run, it is ran where I only want it to run if new column contains true and uh, the post is more than 40 characters. Because if the post is less than 40 characters, it might start you know, making stuff up about how it's like not enough content and stuff. So we want it to be more than 40 characters. So then we'll do that. And now it's only gonna run if these things are true. We only had three people who had more than three posts. So we only have three outputs. So this is working perfectly again. Um, then we used a formula to create this line as well. So it seems like the last time you posted was number of days before that though. And so if we go in here, seems like the last day, time you posted was five days before that though. We're just inserting it very nice and easy. Again, we just use AI to put this in. Concatenate, seems like the last time you posted was, and then end quotes, and, and then the number of days, and, and then quotes, days before that though. Again, super, super simple. Clay takes care of all this coding with their, their AI over here. So now we have achieved uh, this sentence and now we need to achieve this sentence. I just saw your post about AI generation. And then we do that here. And so I just saw your post about butterscotch atmosphere filtering shields. Okay, great. These, these examples are architects. So that's why it's a little odd. And so we, for this prompt, we said using the input, complete a sentence summarizing what the LinkedIn post is about, all of these things, except we changed the prefix to I just saw your post about. And then again, we wanna make sure that the, the post length is over 40 characters. And I'm even seeing a mistake here where actually I want, so that was post, see how that was post um, one? We actually want post zero. So we'll go to posts and then see how we have, this is zero and then we'll put that there. So then now this is conditionally running off of post zero. We'll generate this formula. I actually probably could have just edited it right here, but it's fine. Cool, cool, cool. Awesome. Output is correct. Okay, great. And then we're just going to hover over this to make sure. Yep. See how it's find recent LinkedIn post for user post zero post. That just means it's the most recent post that we found. So then uh, we actually can just save and we don't need to run this. That's just a little change. So now we've created, we've created this uh, sentence, right? So I just saw your post about uh, butterscotch atmosphere filter about outbound sales guide. It reminded me to follow up and see if you saw this super easy. Now we've achieved that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to complete the third email where we give them creative ideas about things to post about. Right. And so what we're going to do is we need to know what their company is. So I set up this enriched company, which in the output of enriched company, we get this description here. And we know more about this company without having to scrape their website and hope that they filled out their website well and, and all of these different things. And so then um, this has a conditional run on it where it only runs, I guess this is actually only running. Yeah, this is only running if there's content over here, which makes sense because if there's content over here, then we're, we're gonna continue with the flow. If there's not content over here, then we can't email them anyway. And so now to give them creative ideas, here's the prompt that I gave them. Uh, you are an assistant helping me come up with three LinkedIn post ideas, given information about what the company does. You're very creative and can think of LinkedIn posts that will help someone get customers. And so then I wrote the prompt using the input, create three bullet points of ideas for a company to post about on LinkedIn. This is the input. Keep the output under 15 words and use specific keywords from the input to come up with ideas for a company to get more customers with social media content. Keep the ideas professional and output them in bullet point format. Um, actually, I got to change this number format. Okay, great. And so now I copied and pasted this exact prompt 
And then I brought it down into the examples. And for the example, instead of having the token for description, I gave it an example. So I did this for Apollo and I wrote some post examples just so that I can train GPT-4 to be like, hey, this is what I want you to say. Don't say anything crazy. Or I guess I'm doing 3.5. Um, don't say anything crazy. I want you to say these things. And we just give it examples of like, what do I want this to look like? I could add an, another example if I wanted, but this is enough. For the settings, again, I wanted to make sure that the description was over 50 characters, just so that if somebody doesn't have a description or it's too short, it won't just like start hallucinating and making things up. So we could jump in about this and see how for, you know, Madam Architect, which um, is a female led architecture firm, um, we gave them ideas to post about inspiring stories of women in architecture for Women's History Month, highlight architects of, uh, on Madam Architect that can help young women starting a career in architecture. Oh, highlight articles, whoops. Share information about Madam Architect to help raise awareness of women's contribution to the field of architecture. All good LinkedIn post ideas, right? And so then um, now we have filled out email number three. So the next thing, I actually over-engineered this. I completely forgot that Enrich Company has the LinkedIn follower account of the company. And we can just check on this really quick. So their follower account is 27, I think it said. And we click on it and they have, what do we got here? It's an unclaimed page. Interesting. Oh my gosh, there's so many people here. Whoops. Okay. Uh, so it's an unclaimed page. Maybe we could go to something else. But um, anyway, the follower account is down here. Um, I used Harmonic to get their follower account. It's over-engineered. I'll probably fix it on the next go around, but in Harmonic, you can get their follower account. And then um, this is the follower account that we get from Harmonic and I wanted to normalize it. So I just use an AI formula and I literally said add commas every three number places in follower account. So it went from this to, you know, perfectly sequenced like that. So it was nice and easy. And then we need their follower account as well. So uh, if we have this data, we'll grab their profile and we'll find their followers and then we'll throw it in there so that we can complete this sentence, this email. So we need the number of followers and then we need these number of followers. I could even add artificial intelligence to like round these numbers to like the nearest spot so that I can say about just in case the scraped data isn't totally correct. But um yeah. So now the only thing left to do would be to send all of these leads to a uh, campaign. The biggest thing I would tell everybody is you got to set up your run settings so that what I do is I set up my run settings so that it only runs if everything that I need about the, um, the lead is completely filled out. So I would come in here and I would use AI and I would say only run if, and then we need like master email column, which that won't, it won't work without that, but I'll be like only run if master email column is not empty. And, and then we need like content, right? So then we need like, you know, like, and new column contains true. Cause remember we did that. And, uh, if, you know, we'll just give it like everything, right? Like this content is not empty and, you know, like then like number of followers is not empty and I would just keep going, right? So that would be the, the other thing. And so uh, if you enjoyed this video, I'll be producing two other videos about doing the same thing for a marketing agency and doing this for Clay itself as well. I hope this gives you a good idea about what's possible uh, when you're using Clay because it can get really deep and it's really not that complicated. You just need to know how to like where the integrations are and how these formulas work. And then you can, you know, automate these sequences that look like a human wrote them. So yeah, if you, if you have any questions, join uh, our Slack community, or you can just reach out to me on LinkedIn, just Eric Noslowski, and I'd be happy to answer your questions.